Okay, we're talking about lesson 13 today in the essential sort of uh, beginner series and um, building fundamentals. We're looking at, at note reading as well as uh, generally the, the language of, of reading um, notation. Now, uh, thus far, we've done the top three strings, the natural notes on the top three strings being G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. working our way, way through to a natural note scale, which is like C major. Okay, so so far we've got the, the, the top three strings, the natural notes in open position, meaning open, uh, open strings. All right, now today uh, we're going to just talk about ties. When we're um, looking at music notation, it has to, the time has to be divided. Um, in, in this case, we're looking at 4-4 four, four time, and the time is divided by measures, and so we get four beats uh, per measure. Uh, four beats meaning like four taps of your foot, or think of a ticking clock. We're not talking about rhythm, we're talking about click, 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 right? And uh, when we want to take a, uh, a note value across the measure or across the bar line, uh, we, we do a little tie. And, and so we don't re-articulate this note here. We just count it because we want it to last for two beats plus another beat and we want that to happen across the bar line. The same thing goes for here. We've got a quarter note and it is tied to a quarter across. It's like a little bridge across the bar line. We do not re-articulate this note again. Here we have a dotted half note which gets three beats and that's, and that's uh, held across the the bar line as well so this this little exercise here is meant uh, to give you material for uh, for crossing uh, uh, the bar line with ties all right so maybe I'll count and I'll just play this for you and give you an idea one two three four one two three one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. Okay, good. I couldn't lose my concentration. There's a lot of ties there. Um, all right, but the reason we um, uh, we did it like this is 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 to to be a little bit of uh, a challenge with counting, uh, and we're only using the notes on the top uh, on the top three strings, and and that's basically what ties are about. Uh, now here's here's a. Um, uh, a song uh, called Marianne. You may have heard it before. It does have a tie in it. Let's. I'll just play the melody slowly. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. All right. Uh, now, um, just on a on a slight side note, a lot of uh, a lot of you out there will have already gone through um, playing chords, right? And uh, and if you have someone else playing with you, or if you just want to play the chords, uh, you know, go ahead and, and do that. Um, in this case, we have we have four beats per measure, and you don't follow the melody, right? You don't follow the rhythm of the melody. You just you just uh, two, three, four, one, two, three. Right? It's a good little exercise to do just playing uh, playing the chords to, to a, simple, a simple tune like that. If you can find a playing partner, even more fun. Okay, Amazing Grace. Um, also, uh, we, have, we have a tie here but we, but, uh, that we'll look at, but we also have a pickup. Now, this pickup is only one beat. And it happens at the beginning of uh, of the tune in this case, and uh, and so we have to count. We're in three four time, so we have to at least make up the measure the 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 three beats of of the measure in three four time by counting the other two. Right. So in other words, one two three is our pickup. We fall. The pickup falls on the three. In other words, let me, uh, it sounds like this. One, two, three. Right? So we just have that one beat in a pickup measure. Now, normally when you see a pickup measure like this, you don't count just two beats. And then, and then, because the two beats doesn't give you enough time to establish the tempo. So normally we would have one, two, three, one, two, three, like, like so, right? And that's what I'll count. And then I'll play this and I'll do a count uh, with, the, with the ties. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's take a look at this one here. When the Saints go marching in, you'll notice that we've got a three beat pickup. So if we just count one for the uh, for the pickup, that's not going to really tell us what the tempo is. So we have to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and so on, right? Uh, so uh, let, let's do that. As you can see, also, we have ties throughout the tune, and I'll just play it through gently, and we will um, uh, count those ties. So I'll give you the count of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, two three, four, one, three, four, one. There you go. 
so, and again, um, if, if you have worked on some chords and you know some chords in open position, uh, just, you know, just take it through and, and play the chords, but make sure that you're counting the same as you would in a, in a, um, uh, reading just the notation, right? So, um, uh, the, these the, these chords were written, you know, sort of written for the teacher, but go ahead. And if there's two of you, it makes it even more fun. Okay, all the best, and we'll see you real soon.